I fell and lost to the roar. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do the highlighter challenge. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, um, but there's a YouTuber, her name's Maria, and she created this whole uh, highlighters challenge. So pretty much it's a full face makeup only using highlighters. Um, I will leave her uh, channel down below and a link to her video so you guys can see what I'm exactly talking about because you guys are probably like, what in the hell is this? Um, so this is definitely going to be a challenge. I've never done anything like this before. I'm probably going to look a hot mess, um, but it's a challenge and it's fun. Uh, everybody on YouTube is doing it right now, so uh, I am definitely going to do this challenge, do it as best as I can. Hopefully it doesn't look like a wreck at the end. Um, I just saw Jacqueline Hill's actually her highlighter challenge and hers actually still looked really really gorgeous. It wasn't a hot mess. She still looked flawless. I'm excited for that. So uh, let's just get started and get into the video. I started. I did put a little bit of concealer on underneath my eyes. I know you're not supposed to. You're supposed to use all highlighter um, products but I did have a little bit of dark circles underneath there so I just put a little bit on there just to cover those up. You know make my own little twist on it. Um, so I'm going to go in with these MAC Luster Drops and use this as a foundation. I'm very scared to do this. Like very scared. Okay, so are you guys ready? I'm probably going to look like an oily mess after this. Just letting you guys know. I know Jaclyn Hill was saying in her video that everything was coming out. You could see everything, her pores, um, any kind of blemishes she had. So, I'm sure it's happening to me too. <laughs> I'm looking so shiny. <laughs> Guys, so I'm all done with my foundation, I guess you could say. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it with this Mineral Effects uh, Baked Highlighter. So I'm just going to set that foundation with this Baked Highlighter. Mm. I'm looking so shiny. Now we are going to go in with a blush. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. It has four different highlighting shades, as you guys can see. And I'm just going to go ahead with um, these two pink ones and just mix these two and use that as my blush. Yeah, it's coming up. Of course, this isn't like an everyday look. You couldn't just like go out with this look one. Yeah, I personally would not go out with this. Let's go ahead in with... Oh, I guess I should have done a contour or bronzer. I should have done that first, but that's okay. So, I guess I'll go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown of the Canopy. And I'm going to use that as my bronzer or contour I guess because it does have like a little bit of like a bronzing kind of shade to it I should have done this first I don't know what I was thinking but it's okay we'll make it work forehead underneath the lip, a little bit down the nose, I'm actually not 
disliking this look. I'm actually, I mean, I know it's like real shiny and I look real oily and stuff, but it's also kind of like pretty. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go in with, let's see, what shade do I want to go in with? I'm going to go in with this Benefit High Beam, and I'm going to use that as my highlight. So I'm going to put that on my cheekbones, on my forehead. So let's see, a little bit here, a little bit here, down the center of my nose. Cupid's bow. Put a little bit underneath my brow bone. And then right in the center of my forehead. I think I might use a little bit of it too down here. Just to carve out from where I did that contour. Okay. So I'm just going to blend all that in. I'm just going to use my sponge. Go in with my Becca Opal. And, oops and set that, set everything that I just did. So down the nose, on the chin, cheekbones, forehead, Cupid's bow, Alright, so I think we are pretty much done with the face. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna draw my eyebrows just because I feel like I look so weird without my brows. Um, you know, you guys don't have to do this. You're not really supposed to do this, uh, but I'm gonna do this because I need my brows. Guys, so done my brows. I'm just gonna go in on with that Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette again. Uh, like I said, there's four shades in here, so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and use that as a transition uh, just to have like a little bit of like a bronzed kind of crease. I don't know how well this is turning out. It's weird because I don't ever usually use like a shimmer transition. I always usually use like a matte brown shade so this is a little different but it's okay go in with my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use that on my lid. Just grab some of that. I'm going to grab some of it and then I'm going to spray my setting powder on it. Just so it's a little bit more wearable and you can actually see it. Oh yes. down below all the uh, highlighters that I use for you guys so you guys know. Uh, let me just dust some of this off. Okay. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and a little bit more to the crease area just so everything's blended. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with that illuminating um, 
palette again by Wet n Wild and use the uh, lash shade as my highlighter underneath the brow just to set that liquid highlighter that we did before the benefit and put that one okay um, and then I'm going to go in with Let's see, I guess I'm going to go in with that same shade that we used as the highlighter, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, this one. And I'm going to use this underneath my lower lash line. Just to kind of give me like that bronzed kind of look under there. So I have some sort of color underneath there. So I'm just going to put that under there. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with that Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette again and use one of the shades that I used for the blush, the lighter pink one. And I'm going to use that in my inner tear duct oh. to just really highlight that inner part of my eye. Boom. Look at that. Look at all this highlight going on. If I went out right now, people would be like, is this bitch crazy? Okay. So we're done that. My eyelash curler and curl these lashes a little. Okay. Next one. Okay, and I'm not gonna do false lashes. I think that they did do false lashes in um I believe Maria did her did false lashes in her video. I'm not going to do false lashes. I'm just going to do mascara. So I'm just going to put a couple of coats of mascara on. that's done all we have to do are the lips now um, I'm just gonna go in with this Milani nude cream color I'm just gonna put this on go with my Mega Glow Multi Stick all in one and I'm just going to dab it on my finger because I don't want to put it directly on my lips. I'm going to dab that in the center of my lips. And it gives you a nice highlighted lip. Okay guys, and this is the look. What do you think? Alright guys, so that's it for this highlighter challenge. Uh, I tag you guys to do the highlighter challenge. You know, if you do do this challenge, please take pictures and send them to me. I would love to see them. But I had a lot of fun, you know, creating this look 
Like I said, it's not horrible. I don't hate it, but I definitely wouldn't go out in public looking like this. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as always so you stay along with all my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make an oily mess out of my face. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! This is what they look like. They're so cute. So they're white, you know, like the white handles, and then they have, like, a little bit of, like, a light.